one of the unique things is that we have something that was called cutoff, mm -hmm. right? So we have mm -hmm. certain aggregates. If you get that aggregate, then we tell you, because you have this aggregate, mm -hmm. you can't go to this school. It's fair. Yes. It's fair because you want to maintain certain standards. But what has happened to us as a nation is that with the affirmative action kind of that was implemented, where we, we reserved some slots for children who came to, let's say, West Lagos, where I get eight instead of six. You see, these are students whose parents didn't have the know-how or the money to do prep on the BEC. Mm -hmm. So they may not have done well on the BEC, but they are super bright. But how do you determine that at the BEC results stage? So, so this, is, this is what's going on. BEC results, yes. So you have 70% perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have about 30% or 20% that goes to children who may not have made the perfect score by giving opportunity to also come to Presec. I had this interesting but how conversation. How do you determine that, Doc? You see, no, no, I've no. had, I've had this, a, 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 a waiter in a, in, a, in a famous restaurant come uh, to me to complain. Uh -huh, uh -huh. His uh, child got aggregate 10 or so. Uh -huh. Didn't get Accra girls. Uh -huh. Their neighbor, uh -huh. uh, they live in Seoul too. Uh -huh. Their neighbor uh -huh. got 19 uh -huh. and gets Accra girls. It depends He's also. He's furious. No, one of the things is that ask them what subject did they teach you. Both of them are not science. No, what subject? Well, both if, of them if are you, not science. If you selected visual arts, right, mm -hmm. you may be able to go in with I get 20 because you are within your own category. The school declares vacancies for visual arts. So they are taking students for visual arts. The best students who will come in from visual arts, maybe I get 18. Okay. And so from now on, we have to this fail. process of you, getting uh, non qualified well, non qualified may not, not be the right word. It's underprivileged. It's, it comes down to this. We have 70% reserved for all those, everyone, the majority of them who get the scores are private school students. Morning star. Morning star, everywhere. Christ the king. So they come in, in their numbers. They have the grades. So they come in. Then the 30% is then allocated to those who may not have gone to those top tier schools. How do you choose those 30%? No, you just look at... Is there an algorithm? Of course. It looks at the aggregates. It looks at the aggregate of the student. So okay, the so preset cuts off at seven. Seven. Uh -huh. into what science. happens to the 30? So the 30, invariably, you may have somebody who got eight, who couldn't have come in through the, one, uh, the, the seven, mm -hmm. but now get opportunity for preset. Because of eight. the school, yes. Eight is understandable, mm -hmm. just one mark different, but 13, they all get in. Yes. Why? They get in because they went to a public school in the inner city, in the Zongo, in the rural area. That's how it is work. Now, the question becomes this. Are you disadvantaging the private schools? No, because this is what's happening. Uh, if Presec used to have 1,000 students, 900 of them were from private schools. Mm -hmm. Now that Presec is taking in 1,500 or 1,800, what has happened is that you're still going to get, instead of 900, instead of 900 you're still going to get 1,200 from private. The 300 that is left after additional numbers were added to the private is what goes to support oh, the rural. Is it Never. similar to the old policy? When I was going to, mm -hmm. when I was writing Common Entrance, mm -hmm. uh, 1988 or so, um, if you go to a public school like I did in Burma Camp, mm -hmm. your requirement to get into Presec was lower it's than simple. the one who went to Martin de Porres. It's, it's it turned out that mm -hmm. uh, people bring their children to class six mm -hmm. from Rich Church. To come and to, do that. Camping, to take the common entrance there to increase their chances of gain, going to Achimota. That, that is, is, that a, is that something similar? It's the same thing. Okay. But what we've done now is that WIAC, uh, we now have a system that we use. We want to check the attendance where you went to primary school and form one, form two, and where you ended up in form three. So GES is now looking at that so that people don't game the system. Oh, so, but, you, so you can't do that anymore? Uh-uh. You so can't if you game the system. Uh, Morning Star GSS, you can't go to La, La Primary and write the they will, BC they, will, they will track you. Oh, I see. That's you. interesting. They will find you. And they will, because we have the attendance mm -hmm. data mm -hmm. for all the public schools. And it can easily be tracked mm. for us to know that, in fact, you just wanted to be the system. But exactly what you, the point that you were making that was happening with Burma camp schools mm -hmm. and other schools. It's the same thing. There's nothing different. Oh, so that's the same thing. You're oh, the same thing. Did they stop at some point and you have restarted it? You see, 
one of the things that happened was generally about the cutoff. What has happened to it as a country is that at a point in time, because there were limited spaces in our senior high schools, every year we we'll introduce something called the cutoff. They will say that because you got aggregate 24, there's no space for you in our public secondary schools. That is why a number of private schools sprang up across the country. Mm. So aggregate 24, sometimes, when I, some years, maybe aggregate 28. You see, but the, the injustice that was there, they are the ones who went to our public schools. You know, the Ghanaian education system is very unique. People send their children to primary schools that private. are private, junior high schools that are private, so yeah, that they SSS, can get they in, in the public. Very, and, very, and, very and, lopsided. Yes, yes, and then those who went to the public then don't do well enough to end up in our public, public. senior high schools, and they are the ones who go to private senior high okay, schools. So if you go to uh, Bishop Bowers, that's uh -huh. private. Uh -huh. Then you go to Wesley Girls, it's public. Public. So majority but of the But the private mm -hmm. uh, SSS are mm -hmm. not as good as the public one. That is the point. But at the JSS level, the uh -huh. private ones are better than the public one. Generally, that's the case. How did we they, they mismatch very few, like that? Of course, there are very few top-of-the-line private schools like um, uh, GIS and others and, mm. and Christian High School, uh, Prof. Yeah. Adair School, that are private association, uh, association and they are top-of-the-line. But, but the majority of the private senior high cannot schools compete with cannot Chimota. compete with Achimota, can't compete with Wesley. So Ghana has a very unique education system within that context. And that is why... Uh, even though allowing public school students to come to the senior high school is a good idea, I also believe that we can fix the public schools so that they can compete with just anybody else, with the private schools. The because I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why uh, a rectangular shaped building painted brown and yellow is what defines a public school. Our public schools mm -hmm. should be better. We have the most qualified teachers. Why are you having poor learning outcomes?